welcome to today's tip. Now I've got a really fabulous one here using lots of water, um, lots of paints, just watercolor paints are the best thing for this. So get your paper nice and wet and then just go and add bits of color that you love. Doesn't have to be anything in particular other than just all your favorite colors. Make sure it's nice and wet, and I'm just gonna move some of these colors around just a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is sort of partially dry it. Once it's stopped moving around, what you then want to do is just literally screw it up into a ball and open it back up. This was my son's idea and I just think it makes such a beautiful tie-dye effect. Look at that, isn't it amazing? Dry it off. And there you have all of those beautiful, beautiful colors in there. Now, for the next step, you really have to make sure it's completely dry. And then what you do is you just rub your Versamark or um, any clear ink that you use for embossing just trying to pick up all of the creases. And then you go over it with your gold embossing powder or any embossing powder. Silver would look gorgeous too, whatever you've got in your stash. You can just use a brayer at this stage with, um, you can use a brayer with gold paint, metallic paint. You don't have to use um, embossing, but I really like the effect of the embossing. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but look at all that beautiful gold. It's so, so pretty. Now you can turn these into flowers or you can just have them as a photo mat. On this page, I've done one here that's become the background and I've got my beautiful flowers that I just put a brad through as well. So lots of ideas with this beautiful technique. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you next time.